Rotterdam, a city that's brimming over with energy, a port that's always on the move. Through the centuries, a port and industrial area of over 50 kilometers in length has developed here. A city of hard workers and clever thinkers who can still see opportunities when the country's borders have been reached. A new piece of land for a new piece of port where the very largest ships can dock. The port of Rotterdam does not stand alone. Together with the satellite ports Dordrecht and Moordijk and the network of terminals that stretches across the entire Netherlands, it makes sure that cargo is transported further into Europe as quickly and efficiently as possible. Rotterdam is the gateway to Europe, a trading hub. That's what it's been for centuries. All roads seem to lead to and from Rotterdam, whether it's by ship, train, truck or pipeline whether it's about oil, coal, ore and chemical products, or brake bulk, containers, offshore, roll-on, roll-off, dry bulk or fresh products. It's all stored, transferred or processed here. Over 500 million European consumers rely on the port of Rotterdam for all their products each and every day. A port that can answer any related logistical question with 50,000 hard workers who make sure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year that the port is complete and safe. That is Rotterdam. The location is perfect. Right on the sea, no locks and hardly any tides and ready for the latest generation of seagoing vessels. But the port of Rotterdam has more to offer. This is the place where people constantly think about how the logistical processes can be handled even more quickly, even more cleverly, and even more efficiently. The port base IT system makes sure information is clustered quickly and subsequently winds up with the right people and organizations. Because of this, paperwork is a thing of the past and that ensures convenience for businesses, authorities and port users. Customs also contribute to the fast handling of formalities, but they are aware of their task as the gateway to Europe. Checks are carried out with risk analyses and superfast scans of containers, without delay and objectively. This way, the consumer can rely on safe products in the stores, the fiscal representation in its turn provides a financial advantage. For instance, businesses in other EU member states don't have to pay VAT on their goods imported through Rotterdam. Rotterdam is rich in specialized custom shippers. Experts who can not only save you a lot of work, but also know where there's profit to be made. But its knowledge about arbitration and procedural law concerning shipping and transport also makes Rotterdam a proficient port. International disputes are solved quickly and relatively cheaply. To remain the port of today and of the future, investments are constantly made. Partly because of Maas Vlak de Tre, Rotterdam is increasingly not just first port of call, but last port of call as well. This makes Rotterdam not just an import port, but also an export port. In all these developments, sustainability plays an important part. Mankind and nature were also taken into account during the layout of new port areas. The terminals feel a responsibility to contribute to this. So their energy saving operate entirely electrically and have been automated to a high degree. This not only makes for greater efficiency, but also for an increasingly smaller footprint. This is the port where knowledge and skill come together optimally. That of people who use the infrastructure to the full, who supply hundreds of millions of consumers with products in the most efficient way. This is Rotterdam. Water and steel. If you merely glance at the port, that's all you see. 
But if you look beyond the technology, you mainly see people. The port is the work of man. Each year, around 30,000 vessels visit Rotterdam. Container ships, bulk carriers, feeder and short sea vessels, passenger ships, barges. Ships that are not just lured by pretty stories or impressive figures, but that look for security and guarantees. The security of professional and fast handling. Almost 3,000 shipping movements a day. This comes with a great responsibility. A tough job for the harbour master, who guarantees security with his staff. He is supported by the 200 pilots. They know the waters and procedures through and through and guide the vessels during the most complex hours of their journey. The pilot advises the captain and is the director on the bridge of a ship. His responsibility only ends when the ship is moored up at the quay or has returned to open sea. Before this happens, the tugboats come into action. They wait for the ship and guide it to its berth. When the quay is reached, the boatmen moor the vessel with mooring lines. Disciplines that require a lot of training and a great deal of experience. All nautical service providers are not just responsible for safety, but are also an important link in the commercial chain. Time is money. After all, goods have to be delivered as quickly as possible. Therefore, solid collaboration is essential. Because of intensive communication between these players, not a single ship in the port of Rotterdam has to wait unnecessarily. And should a vessel's sailing schedule change, we know about it in Rotterdam. All shipping is monitored 24 hours a day, so that it's known exactly when a ship will arrive and whether this fits in with the terminal's planning. This is information that ship owners, agents and service providers can benefit from. The port of Rotterdam is usually not the final destination of the goods. A new journey starts here, to dozens of countries, hundreds of markets, millions of buyers. This involves many other disciplines and types of expertise. A complex entity of people of many different professions. It's these people who make the difference between just another port and Rotterdam. <laughs>